Okay, we just talked when we um, were talking about hypoxia and mechanically ventilated patients is that if the patient is rapidly de uh, desaturating is disconnect him from the ventilator and start banging him. So it's important with an ambu bag. So I felt let's talk quickly about the ambu bag. This is an ambu bag here. And it's see the, uh, the, the, the real name really it's bag valve mask. But in the hospital setting, we always say ambu bag, ambu bag, or, st or uh, start bagging the patient. That means connect him to the bag, to the ambu bag and start bagging him. Bagging means squeezing this bag. So simply, as you see, there is a bag here. There is a valve here, a mask here. This mask for patients who are not intubated, where there is no endotracheal tube. If the patient is intubated, simply get rid of the mask and we connect this to the endotracheal tube. So the oxygen supply or the air gets through this. So you connect this to the oxygen supply in ICU and we go to the maximum flow and this will fill this bag. And then we squeeze the bag to push and force the air in. And the valve here will close after we squeeze the air to allow the expiration. And during the release phase, the air will fill the bag again. And as you notice, the air goes one direction. It doesn't go back because this valve. Some ambu bags, um, like the only reason I see you have what we call a peep valve because basically this is a positive pressure ventilation except it's manual we're not using a ventilator to do that so basically this squeeze and adding the peep valve sometimes add more pressure and push to the air inside why do we use it in mechanically ventilated patients sometimes? Because if the patient is rapidly desaturating and we don't know if there is a problem in the ventilator or not. So the quickest way is disconnect the ventilator completely and start using the ambu bag. That way we make sure if there is an issue here, it's gone. And most of the time it works by bringing the O2 sat up to 90% or more and then reconnect to the ventilator and figure out what's going on. The problem could be in the patient himself. And one of the important things I always check is when I squeeze, how hard or easy to squeeze, that can give you an idea about the airways and the resistance as well as possibly the lung compliance because if it's hard to squeeze that means there is high resistance right and remember we'll talk about shortly uh, when we talk about the peak inspiratory pressure the resistive pressure uh, in the airways and the elastic pressure in the lungs so if the patient is rapidly desaturating o2 sat going quickly down the best way in the practical uh, clinical life in ICU is disconnect the patient from the ventilator connect to the ambo bag and start banging the patient again for those who are not intubated you use this mask and make sure it's sealed off and you will notice in every one we intubate we start bagging them with this while they are sedated until we get the endotracheal tube in